My camera's too high. <laughs> Hi, everybody. How are you? I hope you're well. I'm, I'm a little bit early, <clears throat> so I thought uh, I would just go ahead and come on. I was chatting away in the typing chat part of it, and I thought, I know I'm 10 minutes early, but I'll come on. <laughs> I, I really appreciate y'all coming. I'm Linda Israel, if you did not know that. I am a multimedia, mixed media, junk journalist, uh, master of all kinds of crap. <laughs> um, I've, I've pretty much done it all, so there's a lot of things that I've done. So if this is your first time seeing me, I hope you enjoy this. 
If you're watching this as a replay, know that you can go below and click on the gear and you can change the speed to two and a half times and it will speed through it a lot faster so you don't have to spend the two to three hours, depending on the day, watching a live stream. But they're a lot of fun to watch because I try to share a lot of techniques throughout the whole stream and make it entertaining as well. <clears throat> If you are new here as well, there's some in-game uh, chat that uh, we play like exclamation point FFA. It's called Free For All. It costs you 10 junk bucks to play the game and then it's possible that you could win a bunch of junk bucks. And I'll show you why you may want to win those junk bucks. And you can check your bucks by typing exclamation point bucks. Because when you get 2,000 junk bucks, you can type award, exclamation point, award, and I will give you a $10 coupon to my store. This is as a thank you for being here watching. That's how you earn junk bucks for your comments. And of course, for your donations, at the end of this stream, I will be do uh, doing a raffle, if you will, or a drawing for the journal. And that is eligible to those who donate. In addition to donating to me, I greatly appreciate it. You get a digital download from my shop. And um, that was probably one of my gel prints. I've already posted what today's freebie is. You also become a exclusive YouTube member on my website and you get 5% off your future orders, excluding the subscription boxes. So, you know, I want to make sure that <clears throat> you are um, rewarded for donating to me. So that's what you're getting in exchange. And if you didn't get yours from the last week, definitely check out my website in the digital download area and get your freebie. And follow the instructions on the page if you have any questions. Um, let's see here. Um, let's keep the chat upbeat and positive and, you know, just let's have fun. Share what you're working on right now, what you've been inspired by recently. Have you watched one of my other videos? Because I have over 500 here on YouTube. And maybe you made something that was inspired because of me. I got a couple people who tagged me on Facebook that have been using my stencils. I love seeing that. And so definitely, you know, tag me whenever you're opening your Royal Peacock box. I know a lot of people have received their boxes today. Oh, thank you so much, Christy, for your donation. And thank you, Deborah, for your donation as well. Um, let's see. Um, yeah, share your projects with me because I really like seeing them. And, you know, let me know what inspires you that I do because it helps keep me giving you content that I hope you enjoy and are being inspired. So if you're not getting me any feedback, then I just keep doing what I'm doing. <laughs> Um, I wanted to show you a couple things I found when I was digging around. Um, I was looking for something in one of my drawers, and I have a couple of these drawers that just have a bunch of random things in it. Um, and so I thought, well, I would just kind of show you that over the years, things that I have done and how I have improved. You know, a lot of people say, how do you come up with this? I'm like, practice. By doing things over and over and over, you practice what you're doing and you get better because you learn a little bit more about composition and color and whatnot. Oh, thank you so much, Margie. You are too sweet. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, so I wanted to show y'all something that I made a while back. <clears throat> We're waiting on, uh, thank you so much, Margie. Waiting on the dancing sheep. <laughs> I need to change the settings so it's not up there for so long. <laughs> so this is a coaster. I, uh, Sherry, thank you so much. Uh, this is a coaster that I, I'm going to do something here. I'm going to see what happens if I yeah. Okay. So this is a coaster that I picked up probably when we went out to a restaurant or something and I covered it with scrapbook paper. Um, before I met Norella years and years ago, I would buy digitals online and I would scan in my own photos. I used to buy photos from, uh, Etsy and, uh, 
uh, eBay and scan them in. So this was just something I made a long time ago. And I've, I feel that I've come a long way since then. I mean, I use some stickers on here. I, it's not distressed. You know, it's just a, a coaster. So that's something that I made. <clears throat> and... Uh, no, I, Julie, I'm just chatting right now. We're early, so I'm just running at the mouth. <laughs> um, and then this is something else that I made. I probably saw this in a magazine. Oh, I'm zoomed in too far on this one. Um, I probably saw it in a magazine or something. And I thought, well, let me see if I can copy it. Or it was from a book. I think it was from a book. But I wanted to show y'all, I, I did prototypes. Whenever I make stuff uh, back in the day, I would go through and just make things. And sometimes it was based off of an inspiration or somebody's instruction or a video, or I just saw a picture of it in a magazine and I would just make it. So this was my take on this little pocket thing that's taking an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper and folding it, folding it in half again, folding it in half again, and then making pockets out of each section. And could you see how that would be really cute to add that into a bigger junk journal? So that's kind of things that, you know, I see when I'm digging around in my uh, office or, or my my space <laughs> and I thought I'd just share those with y'all while we were waiting for everybody else to get here on time <clears throat> all right yeah I am trying to get to uh, 10,000 subscribers you did one too Margie awesome thank you Robin um, I'm trying to get to 10,000 subscribers I'm really close I'm at uh, 9700 ish at the moment so if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed please do and make sure you hit that notification bell at the top so that you get notified whenever I go live once I get to 10,000 subscribers I'm going to have a bunch of giveaways we're going to do a bunch of live streams during that whole probably week to a month of videos that I'm going to be giving away things like a Misty. I'll have a Surebonder glue gun to give away. I think I even have some glue to go with it. Um, I have a Crafter's Companion kit that they gave me when I was at Creativation. I have some rubber stamps. I have some paper. I have lots and lots of stuff. So subscribe and help me get to 10,000 so you can start getting those goodies. You love that? Awesome. You should be here soon, Christy, because I mailed them all out, so you should get it soon. If you haven't already, um, join the raffle, and I'll keep reminding, but since we started a couple of minutes early, join the raffle, it's exclamation point raffle, and I am giving away junk bucks, so I already mentioned at the beginning that when you get to 2,000 junk bucks, you can get a $10 coupon to my store, and... <clears throat> 200 junk bucks could be earned today if you join the raffle. It doesn't cost you anything to join that. What else? Um, let's move on to my next piece of paper here. So in June, the next subscription box is going to be Punked Out Steam. It's going to be a colorful steampunk kit that Norella designed with uh, some guidance for me as far as color scheme. And this is some of the things that are from the kit. This is a page that I printed on vellum, so it's got a beautiful, kind of an orangey hue to it. And then this is one of the pages from the large kit, the 1499 kit, and it has a Yorkie in it. I just think it's super cute with the little top hat. Oh, good, Carrie Ann, I'm glad you got yours. Yay! <clears throat> You're getting restless. It'll be here soon. Hey, Cheryl Stark. So glad to see you here. Yay, Kathy. Oh, good. Um, one of the pages, again, from the Punked Out Steam. And then here's another one. I love this design here. Oh, and I should have said that on here. This design in the background is one of my stencil designs. And it's going to be part of the May stencil club in fact it already is it's already in my shop right now my may stencil club and it's including one of these stencils and this stencil is what will be in the kit 
with the um, subscription box. So those are coming up in June. And then in May, the end of this month, I will be showing the Daydreaming, I've got too much stuff, too much competition here, um, the Daydreaming Journal Kit. This is a kit that Norella has redesigned just for the um, virtual camp that Just Penny puts out. <clears throat> In fact, if we say, oh, I forgot what the timer is, is it camp? online. If you type exclamation point online, then you can see the link. I'll do that. And you'll see the link to the um, online workshop. And the online workshop is, I think, two weeks long. And you're going to get two tutorials per day. You're going to get some online um, Facebook live videos and you're going to get some vendor deals where you get percentages off on different people's stores. So I am providing a kit much like the subscription box. It's going to be different though. In this kit, instead of it being a pre-made journal with a few pages of ephemera, we're going to go ahead and put what we call the large printed kit. It is normally $14.99 just for the printed kit. And you're going to have two journal covers, two, seven journal pages, six cut and create element pages. So that's going to be in this camp kit. And then where is it? <clears throat> I haven't made the stencil yet as far as physically cutting it. That's going to be the stencil design that goes with this kit. Um, we're going to have a beautiful um, purple shade of Tattered Angel's Glimmer Mist in the kit. And then you'll have my goodie pack, the things that I pack up that are old book pages and trims and sequins and charms and paper clips and lace. <laughs> um, and all kinds of journaling cards and things to use for journaling cards. So all of that together is normally $46.96. I'm going to have it as a price at $39.99. If you're a member of the camp, you're going to get it for $35.99. So that's going to be coming up Monday is when I'm going to start showcasing this kit. So if you have questions, you know, ask. I don't mind answering them. And I hope that you'll enjoy the uh, retreat that we're doing. <clears throat> Yeah, Penny's super sweet. Um, I, I hope that you'll support her, you know. Junkie Joe just for shared the um, virtual retreat. And again, I just want to thank y'all for, you know, coming to my live streams, for being involved with it. We're trying as artists in this great big world to make content on YouTube that you enjoy, that inspires you to create. And I hope that you're, you know, seeing that whenever we come to this um, and we're having a good time too i want to mention that remember that uh, you know your thumbs up your comments and you're watching the videos really do matter we really appreciate them so thank you for doing that all right hey left-handed crafter hey deborah yes deborah it'll be 39.99 you can order the kit even though you're not going to the camp. You're just going to miss out on a few exclusive videos that will happen. I think I'm scheduled for like a Tuesday and a Wednesday um, during the camp. So we'll have my Monday live stream, which will be whatever that is. And then uh, same week, Tuesday and Wednesday, I'll be doing a camp video. <clears throat> um, what else? I'm trying to think, what, what else, what else, what else do I got to tell you? I need to, I need a secretary. <laughs> so yeah, so the camp retreat, um, working on kits. Next, uh, thurs this coming Thursday, a couple of days from now, we're going to be doing mixed media. Uh, last week, we show, I showed how to use stencils and paint on the paper. And I probably, do y'all want me to do more of the um, mixed media where I just paint on the paper using stencils, or do you want some gel press time? And then what I'll do is kind of cut it off, and then we'll make something out of a few of the pages that we made. Um, so let me know what you want to do that. When will we get the link 
Ah, I don't know, Christy. Um, let me ask her. I don't know if I thought she already invited people to the group, the Facebook group. Um, <clears throat> and I, I, I don't know. Maybe she doesn't have it ready yet. So I'll ask her about the retreat. I can do that really fast. Let's see. Let me pull up her name so I have it. Okay. When will links be sent for the group after? All right. So I sent a message to Penny. So she'll probably reply here in a little bit. Okay. So I'm seeing anything I want to do. Um, I'm seeing... Um, Anything? Gel press. Okay, I'm seeing both. Okay. Hey, Leslie. So glad to see you here. And, you know, say, I want to say hi to everybody. I just missed some of them because I was talking. So, <laughs> Beverly says, we want it all. And, Beverly, you still need to send me a list of the stencils unless you just want me to do them all. Carrie says, uh, gel press. <laughs> all right. Oh, God, see you here, Mariana. Oh, Deborah, that's funny. Deborah says, I made copies of my gel prints, but I find it hard to use either the copies or the originals since I love them. And I understand that. I really do. That's why I started scanning them in because I love them so much and I may not be able to reproduce that, but I could use it over and over and over. And I love scanning them in. Now I'm using both. I, I have no qualms about grabbing from my stack of gel prints over here because I scanned them all in. <laughs> You're welcome, Christy. All right, gel press. What else? <clears throat> Yay, thank you so much, Julie. All right. So, um, yeah, so Robin just pointed out. I'm going to look at my dash and see what it says. And go here. Get a drink of water. We're at $25.99 on the donation front. <laughs> Thank you so much, Christy. Hey, Christy. So glad to see you here. Hey, hey, hey. <clears throat> All right. The journal raffle today is going to be $75. It's another fabric covered three signature journal. I have got the pages pretty much ready and we're going to actually build the cover and then the three journal inserts okay so 75 dollars is our goal and we're we're a quarter of a way there so thank you very much thank you donna thank you so very much yes and any dollar amount you don't have to um you know you don't have to uh give a whole big amount you can give a dollar so i appreciate that do I do anything shabby chic, Julie Parker asks. I says, you know, not a whole lot, Julie. Um, I've done a lot of greeting cards and I've done a few journals in the past. I am right now of a mode that I'm making journals, even though you guys end up with them, I don't get to keep them. I'm making journals that I would enjoy to write in, to actually write in. And Sometimes the shabby chic is absolutely beautiful, but the pages are so um, bulky and bumpy, it's hard to write on them. So it's beautiful, but right now I'm not in that mode, so I can't wrap my head around doing that technique at the moment, if that makes sense. <laughs> Thank you, Karen, for your donation. Thank you so very much. <clears throat> All right. Barbara says, shabby chic is too girly. It is, it's very feminine, you know, and I love the look of it. I, I wished I was more shabby chic in my life, but I'm not. I'm very practical and I love bright colors. You know, I thank you so much, Christy, for your donation. You know, I, I love, you know, the vibrant stuff and I don't know. That just kind of makes sense. So right now, that's what my head is wrapped around is I'm doing what I enjoy, if that makes sense. Make sure y'all are entering the raffle and then we're going to get started on this journal cover. So, um, it's time for me to step out of my comfort zone. <laughs> that's funny, Christy. 
Girl, you don't know what I've done. Thank you, Mariana. <laughs> I've done shabby chic. I, it's just not in my mode right now. <laughs> okay, so, um, yes, I'm using the Exquisite Dreamer Journal Kit right now. This is a piece that comes out of the kit that is supposed to be like a wide belly band. Thank you, Janice, for your donation. Thank you so much. Um, and I've decided I'm going to use it on the cover of the journal. I've gone ahead and behind the sh dancing sheet, can you see the uh, glitter? <laughs> so I added some of the tulip, ah, the tulip dimensional glitter uh, to the images here. So it's on the butterflies. It's on here. Thank you so much, Carrie Ann. Um, the journal that I'm making is printed as an eight and a half by eleven. Uh, sheet of paper folded in half. So I printed the pages and the cover eight and a half by 11. So when I do that, I've, I've made journals enough. I know how big to make my cover, if you will. And I may do this backwards to some people. I don't know, but this is how I do it. I look at the size of my journal and then I give about an inch total all the way around. It, it could be three quarters of an inch. It could be a half an inch, just a little bit bigger for the actual cover pieces. And in this case, because I'm doing, thank you so much, Paula, for your donation. Um, in this case, because I'm dealing with an eight and a half by 11 folded in half, that makes it five and a half by eight and a half. So I've made it nine tall and six wide that's what these chipboard pieces are then this cheap chipboard piece is nine tall and an inch and a half wide then i line it up on a piece of fabric and i want about <clears throat> about an inch all the way around with a little bit of a gap right here does that make sense so you see i've got a little border all the way around and that's going to be my cover. Now you can um, do two layers of chipboard because this is relatively flexible. So if you really want it strong, you don't have book board, which is heavy board like you would get from a hardback book. Then, you know, stack a couple together, glue them together really well, and that'll be thicker for you. Um, and you can always take apart a book, you know. You're very welcome, Julie. You're very welcome. Um, you can't, 44 uh, 93 in the junk jar, and we're getting closer to the $75 mark. So thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so yeah, so you can cover it with, you know, fabric and paper. Just make something this size, even if you have to piece it together, which I've done on other covers, okay? So got your fabric. So now let's adhere this down. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to line this up and make sure that I have it centered and I have a gap here. And I'm just going to use my tackies glue here and go ahead and put some... Oh, thank you, Tina. Thank you so much. <clears throat> um, I'm just going to put some tacky glue on here, kind of like a zigzag. Go down across and then I'm a zigzag zag now you can see the glue on the camera but it is not a super duper amount so I mean can you see there's hardly any texture or height to that glue I just touched the tip on there a lot of people are saying well my my cover warped you've got too much glue you don't need a whole lot and what I like to do is take my bone folder and then press and if I press on the cardboard side, it doesn't wrinkle up my fabric and it'll help smooth out that glue, okay? Some fabrics are too thin and you may have to double them up. Um, so think of that too when you're dealing with fabric because it may uh, show whatever your substrate is if you're using like a cereal box, um, some kind of food box or something like that that has something printed on it you'll want to take in consideration will your fabric um, 
obscure what was on the box or will you need to paint the box or use two layers of fabric okay Barbara Oliver won <laughs> Yeah, please give us a thumb up to, you know, who's in the chat today? Where are y'all from? You know, I'm in uh, Yukon, Oklahoma. Uh, Henry and I have lived in this house for a long time. So tell, tell us in the chat where you're from. You don't have to, you know, give us your address. Just the state or country or uh, something really cool near you. Uh, where are you from? And what one thing about your area do you wish everybody knew about. Henry and I have lived in this home here in Yukon for 20 years. Uh, we were very blessed to be able to buy this house. A friend of ours had actually looked at it and they were considering buying it, but at that time it just wasn't the right timing. And we were looking for a house and they told us about this house. The neighbor across the street used to work for my father-in-law. We went to church with her. She had a key to the house. So we came over <clears throat> and was shown the house on a Monday. We made an offer on a Wednesday and on Friday we moved in after Christmas. <laughs> yeah, you like using cottons for covers or even quilted fabric. Yeah, definitely you can use that. Um, I love the state of confusion. <laughs> I love, um, that's hilarious, state of confusion, Ohio, Mississippi, Salt Lake City, Farmville, Virginia, we got all kinds of stuff. All right, so what was I saying? <laughs> oh yeah, so we've been here for uh, 20 years, and you know, some of the things that people don't know about here in Oklahoma is when you get out away from the traffic and you get into an area that uh, may, it's somewhat flat, because most of Oklahoma is pretty flat, we're prairie lands, you know, but you can see forever on a clear, clear day. And if you get way out, all you hear are just the nature sounds. Uh, we're really close to the interstate where our home is. It doesn't appear to be close as far as being able to see the interstate. You can't from my home but you can hear it. And so I've been trying to add features to my yard. I've added, I think I've up to three or four uh, wind chimes. And I think I want to add some water features so that that uh, crashing water um, kind of covers up the traffic noise. <clears throat> All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start folding these corners in and gluing those down. And I'm showing you, I'm going to go across as a diagonal and I'm just making some dots on the glue. I do plan to sew with my sewing machine. If you're not going to sew, you want to make sure you have a nice even amount of glue on here, okay? So I'm just going to press this down. I've got to visit a lot of neat places. Um, I went to Ohio for what was called back then art continuum and that was in y'all ready for this i was in ohio for art continuum in 2000 it was a week-long camp we stayed at a hotel beverly was there beverly was at art continuum because uh, I knew Beverly and a gal that Beverly was also in business with at that time and they asked me to haul some stuff in my car <laughs> because they didn't have enough room in their van. <laughs> so I've known Beverly a really long time and I liked Art Continuum. I liked the, um, the atmosphere of creative people getting together and sharing ideas and the workshops that we did and and fellowshipping with other artists i think it's a lot of fun i'd love to do a um a uh, retreat like that either we come to a hotel somewhere or we get on a cruise ship or something like that alabama i see
You lived in Oklahoma, Southern California, Northern California, Maine, Minnesota, and Connecticut, Paul A. Wow. And you were a, tra a nurse. Well, thank you for being a nurse. Oh, Mariana says she lives went right next to one of our main interstates, Route 81. We go on 81 a lot. Yep, it's not too far from me. You hear trucks and all that, planes taking off. The hotel, it was in downtown. I don't remember the name. I'm sure I have it in a journal that I made for the event because I got to meet uh, Jonathan Talbot. He's a mixed media artist, does collage work, has some neat techniques. Got to have dinner with him. Um, <clears throat> I met Lynn Perella in person. I love her artwork that she creates. She had a whole stamp line that I think uh, uh, Somerset Studio or Stampers Anonymous has now. Um, I'm trying to think who else. I mean, I met a lot of really neat people, and it was a lot of fun. Okay, pick the junk box winner. All right, I'm going to I'm going to finish the fabric sides, and then I'm going to pick the winner. So enter the raffle if you haven't entered it yet. All right, so we're getting that one glued down. You lived in Moore for a year and a half. Wow, it's a small world. I mean, really. I've, I've met so many people that even though they live overseas, they have a family member that is, you know, practically down the road for me. It's kind of interesting. You accumulate junk bucks, Christy, by being here, by chatting, and by your donations. You can also play the little silly end games and bet, basically, <laughs> for junk bucks. And you could win more at that time. So those are a few ways that you can earn junk bucks. And then once you get to 2000 you can uh, trade them for a $10 off coupon. All right. Yeah, I was going to say, yours is Interstate. I think mine's Highway 81. Yours is Interstate 81, and ours is Highway 81. I'm sorry, Mariana. <laughs> I wasn't reading that. <laughs> hey, bye, Naomi. Have a good one. Thank you for stopping by. <clears throat> All righty. Kathy's got some junk bucks. Let's do the giveaway. So, <clears throat> I'm going to take a drink. Give y'all a chance to get in the raffle. All right. Pick a winner. Raffle. Raffle. You're very welcome, Christy. Yeah. Okay. Yours is the interstate. Mine's highway. <laughs> All right. Giveaway. I'm making sure I got everybody in. Yep. Hey, Karina. Glad to have you here. Enter the raffle. Exclamation point raffle. Thank you, Norella. Thank you. You know, if you've got patchwork material that you've never used, use it as a cover for sure. I've even um, Franken-stitched fabric together to make a cover. I've got the rainbow journal cover. That's what I did with that. You can do whatever you want. All right. Enter the raffle. Yeah, it is confusing for sure. All right, so we're gonna pick a winner. And Carrie Ann, you're the winner. You just won 200 junk bucks, and I will award that to you um, here in just a few minutes or when I get off. And then I'm going to go ahead and we're going to reset this. Actually, no, I'm just going to say allow entries. So we're going to keep going, and we'll pick somebody else here in just a moment 
to uh, win some more junk bucks. How's that sound? <clears throat> so enter the raffle. Alrighty. So this is the outside cover part, but I want to put some stitches around the outside. So we kind of stalled um, so the glue could dry so it's not real wet and gummy. Of course, you didn't use a lot of glue, right? Because you don't want to put too much on there. <laughs> so I'm just going to take it to my sewing machine. So we're going to go to sewing cam alert. Um, we're going to go all the way around the edge and do a zigzag stitch. You don't have to. If you don't have a sewing machine, just uh, glue it down and be done with it. Um, you could at this time as well. Um, say you wanted to put lace, so you like that shabby chic look, you could put a bit of lace on here and then sew that together. And then when you put your covers on the inside, it would sandwich that lace in there, make it nice and neat. So, you know, those are things you can do. I'm going to just sew all the way around. So sewing cam. Sewing cam. All right, I forgot to hit the right button. <laughs> And if you have questions, you know, please ask. Robin is here. She'll try to help as well. Let me rotate this just a little bit. Okay. Um, and I'm just using a regular sewing machine. And I just realized oh, I have a little bit. I may run out of thread in the bobbin. We'll see. Um, I'm just using a regular sewing machine. I'm using a standard needle for my sewing machine. I have the settings as standard. Just if I were going to be sewing on a piece of fabric, um, pretty much what I tell everybody is get your manual out, look at what are the proper settings to do each stitch, then set your machine and don't touch it again unless something bad happens. But generally, once you set it, it'll be good, okay? You're going to have to slow stitch your cover. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, Marion, I'm glad to do one for you so you could see how to do it. And it's really not that difficult. You just take your time. We're sewing! So has everybody made a journal yet? Who has not made a journal yet? What is holding you back? Tell me what, what do you need to get started to make your first journal? You know, my journals, my very first ones, they were just pretty much simple, taking paper, folding it in half, sticking it in a cover. Later I learned how to Alter books, that's the things that we did a lot in the 90s. We altered books, and now it's called junk journals. It's just a thin chipboard, Mariana. Um, in fact, I just bought a bunch of it because I'm going to do um, laser cut chipboard pieces. And so, <clears throat> I, uh, I've been thinking about selling some kits of the chipboard. Can y'all not get chipboard where you are? Um, let me know if that's something you want me to offer. I could put a few sheets in an envelope and mail those out. We're all going to back over here. You turned in so you can learn, Karina. Have you never seen junk journals or have you played with them? Tell me. Ah, the sewing machine won't sit right on your hospital bed. I wonder if someone can make a, um, a platform for you to set it on. You know, kind of like a, a, a large sized um, bed TV tray. Maybe you could get one that you can sit under and then the TV tray would have a piece of board on it. And then you put your sewing machine on and then that way you'll have more room. All right, so you made a few. Some people's made some. You're horrible at cutting chipboard, and it is harder to cut. 
Um, you know, I, that's why I don't use book board. Book board is super thick. Well, you either have to have a heavy duty cutter or you have to use a craft knife. And I don't do craft knives. Not, not very often. Very, very rarely do I do them because I don't want to cut myself. <laughs> You'd like to wake when you have a sewing machine? Well, you can do it. I hope that you, you know, um, you're interested and, and have fun. Oh, you received your, your monthly kit. Oh, awesome. Yay. Awesome, Christy. Well, you know, I have those other videos up that show the actual Peacock kit. I do that for everybody so they can go back. You can just put it on while you're crafting. That's what I would do and I've done. Um, just turn on the video while you're crafting with that kit. And then that way you can kind of look at what I'm doing and get some ideas and, you know, kind of go from there. And you're maybe a little bit entertained. <laughs> All right. So what I'm doing now is this is going to be my centerpiece. It was what was left over when I cut the cardstock for the inner. Um, I made it to be eight and three quarters tall. Okay. So that's on the inside. So you get a nice border here. Okay. I'm going to use my bone folder again. And I'm going to press this. Because I really want it to adhere to the chipboard underneath here. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to test where the bend is. And I'll take my bone folder. Sometimes I can't do it the first time. Okay. And I'm going to run down that crease. And because I moved the cover before it was dry, I'm going to press it back out again. Okay. And we'll do this a few times because you got to get that inner piece pushed into it. And it strengthens your cover as well. Okay. Now I'm not scoring this super deep where it's going to tear. Just enough that that bend can happen. If you have your cover too close to the spine, your cover will bind. So that's why you got to leave that gap. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so I took a 12 by 12 sheet of scrapbook paper and I cut it. And just look at that it was a 12 by 12 piece. And I cut it at um, eight and three quarters here. So I had a strip. This was the strip that was on the bottom. Let's pretend. Okay. And then I cut these into six inch pieces. I had a little square left over. So that was right here. Okay. And then I wanted to have little pockets. So what I did was I took some fabric and I folded over the edge and glued it. I forgot to sew it. <laughs> I got ambitious. And then I laid it down on the table. And just like we wrapped the cover of the journal. Let me get this where there's not so com competition. I folded in the corners, then I folded up the bottom, then I folded in the sides, and I did glue them just a little bit. Then I took it to my sewing machine and I sewed all the way around. Okay? Pockets! So there's a way with fabric to put pockets on there. You could also just take a piece of paper and glue it on. You could take a piece of paper, cardstock, and you could um, sew it on. So you got lots of options there. So now I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to coat the back with some Aline's Tacky Glue. I didn't sew this to the inside cover because it's too hard to get it lined up and sew it and the front cover evenly and I just like this look a little better I don't know maybe I'm weird <laughs> hey Vicki so glad to have you here yeah I stitched the paper before I glued exactly so I stitched the paper before I glued so now I'm just going to line this up and smooth it out Okay, and then we'll do it again.
You think you could make a cover like this now, Mariana? Did I give you enough information? Because it really isn't difficult. It's just taking your time. Don't get in a hurry. Don't use too much glue. That's the biggest thing that happens is people use so much glue that their journal cover warps. So do you think you like the color choices I did for the inside and the outside? I think that kind of goes together. I thought it was kind of a, a neat pop of color. Okay, so we'll look at that again. I'll kind of Gotta make sure you don't get it too close. I guess this piece of paper was wider than six inches. I should have made it shorter, I just realized. I made it too big! But I think we'll fix it. We'll fix it. I forgot to uh, trim this a little bit. It should have been five and three quarters wide all right so this is my front cover okay and i think i want to put this on the front cover so i'm just going to figure out how this looks okay so i'm going to glue this down oh thank you so much christy for your donation i think where are we on it we are at $49.99. So we're really close to the $75 mark. So basically now I'm just going to glue this down on top. And if I had wanted to, I could have also, before I put the inside cover on, I could have stitched this onto the cover. But I wanted to glue it. Okay. Now, I've got some trim here that I got a while back. And I thought that might look good on here. So I'm going to take this and we're going to trim it off. I'll find me a pair of scissors here. I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue on the back side. I'm using that Sherbonder glue gun and it gets really hot and because I know it gets really hot I've got my palette knife here and so all I'm going to do is just kind of mush that glue just a little bit and I'm kind of rolling the fibers to the back side so it won't um, unravel okay and don't put your finger in it because it's hot okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little frame here like that. I'm going to use the hot glue. Butterflies and unicorns are your favorite. Next journal, Regina, you're going to try using a uh, book. Awesome. Yes, note to self, make the inside panel smaller. <laughs> you like the colors? Thank you. All right, so I'm just going to glue a little at a time, press it down. And we'll go along the, I don't usually use hot glue for stuff, but I don't want to, oh, thank you so much, Norella, for your donation. Thank you. I'd love for you to win this journal. Then you could have one. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right. So what do you think? Oh, wait. It's, it's all covered up. <laughs> I'm going to put some glue on this side and kind of get it ready. Thank you, Barbara, for your donation. Thank you so much. All right. So I'm going to fold this over again thank you thank you thank you 
Your, your glue gun gets too hot? Yeah, they can get hot. I've burnt myself. Your favorite things are flowers, birds, and butterflies? Yeah, I agree, Christy. You know, it's always handy to have a glue gun, but I can work without it. All right, so do I want to go all the way around or just down the sides? I think I'm going to do just down the sides, y'all. What do you think? Christy says, I really want this journal. All right, so I'm going to cut this. And I'm going to put some glue on the back side of that. And carefully roll it over on itself. <laughs> Without burning myself. Mariana wants this journal too. And some bling. You want some bling? I've got some bling out. I've got some bling out. Okay. Robin, when do I need to draw again? Remind me. Is it time? <laughs> hey, Lynn. So glad you're here. I didn't... I, I, did you ever pick up your kit? Oh, thank you, Dee Dee. Thank you so much for your donations. Thank you. I think just the sides. Yeah. I'm with you. Just the sides. All right. So we're going to stick this down. And then I've got some, I've got some bling. I'll get some bling out. So you've, uh, I've just made the cover, Lynn, and I'm putting some trim on here with my glue gun. Being careful not to burn myself. Oh, I need some more glue. Oh, thank you, Sherry, for your donation. Thank you so very much. Um, do y'all use trims on your journals? You know, I forget. That's what I do. I forget to use it. So I've got a bunch, and I think I'm going to make up some packages. <laughs> I think I got this side too high. I love, yes, the versatility of, of palette knives. I agree with that. I'm going to turn off the glue gun. Let's see. Now if I can just figure out how to clone the journals. Yeah, there you go, Fluke. <laughs> yeah, Margie, I agree. <laughs> All right, so let's add some bling. I've got some bling here, and I was trying to see. I wonder if I have that. I had a, a, a swirly-looking one. Oh, here. I wonder if we should do that. I think we'll do that. I buy these and then I forget to use them. This is a Sherbonder glue gun. Sherbonder. And that'll be in one of my giveaways. I'll have a glue gun to give away. Really? I took the topper off. I didn't. <laughs> I guess I can't operate an envelope or whatever these are. Okay, so do I want... The big one, y'all can't see that, it's got a glare. The big one, or the little one? I think the little one. I think I like the way that little one kind of gives this look. And I hate these things too. They're beautiful, but they're not always easy to get off the backer card. <laughs> so we're going to see if we can do this without tearing it all up. We're eighteen dollars. Woohoo! We're almost close for the be able to draw for the dollar amount. Oh yeah, make sure you join the raffle. Okay. Now see, that's what happens. It all gets all discoabulated. Alright, so we're gonna go. Come on, let go of me. Ah! <laughs> The frustration is real, y'all. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, let's see if I can do this. <laughs> what did I miss? Okay, junk bucks drawing time. Okay, if y'all haven't already. Oh, man, I broke part of it. I hate that. All right, let me get 
this stupid thing stuck down. Ah! <laughs> oh my word! It must be old because it's stuck. Ah. All right. Chimney Christmas. All right, we're gonna go like this, like that. I got it a little high, but I'm okay with that because it's not my journal. <laughs> All right. Woo! Okay, I added some bling. Are you happy? <laughs> to become more rated folks <laughs> oh dear alrighty so I don't think I want I think that's good enough is that good enough for your bling does that make you happy with the bling well I hope so because that's all I'm gonna do <laughs> yeah that bling is a pain Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to mark inside here uh, where we're going to poke our holes for the uh, journal. And I'm going to get all my journal supplies stuff out. And I don't think... Yeah, I could use this one. So I'm going to make this a Midori-style journal cover, okay? So what that means is it's going to have elastic bands in it and our journals can slip under the bands and you can take them out and be able to write in them flat without having to compete with the rest of the journal. And then when you're done, you just put them back into the journal cover. So I've just got a little template here. It's kind of hard to see, but basically I know where the center is on either end and I've got two lines on either side because I just want to make six holes in the cover. So we're going to go right up here, and I'm going to make a dot, and a dot, and a dot, and dot, and dot, and dot, okay? You probably can't see that, and we're going to do the drawing here in just a second. So let me punch the holes. Oh my goodness, what happened? All right, let's change that. Whoa! Is that is it freaking out on y'all? Is it going crazy for y'all? Cause it's going crazy for me. I'm gonna see if I can fix it. it goes it straightened up Whew. that was making me sick okay thank you Janice yes it punches through material I punch through all layers with this okay I don't know why it's going crazy I don't know why All right, if it keeps doing that, we'll stop and start again. <laughs> All right, so I just punched the holes, okay? I guess it did like the banging. <laughs> it's sensitive. Okay, so let me do the drawing for the raffle. Maybe it'll, maybe it'll clear up. Let's do the giveaway. For the drawing on the raffle for 200 junk bucks and uh, I'll grab some uh, shell prints here that'll work <clears throat> I'll grab some gel prints and that'll be 
the next giveaway. So if you haven't already, these are some I made a while back. I like to make some more of those. Um, so the winner for the junk bucks goes to Diddy B. You won 200 junk bucks, and I'll award those here in a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and reset, and we're going to put in here um, gel prints, and we'll open up the raffle again. So go ahead and type exclamation point raffle to get in the raffle. Congratulations, ladies, on winning. All right, so showed you all that. Let me move it over here. And... Okay, so I've got some elastic cord here. Get rid of the glue gun stuff because I don't need it. Ah. Those are for you, Christy. All right, Norella, thanks for stopping by. We need to chat soon. We haven't chatted in a couple of days, so give me a message tomorrow. Maybe we can... We can, we can pretend that we're sitting across from each other drinking coffee or tea or whatever. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I've got um, <clears throat> elastic cord. I got it in the jewelry department at Michael's. It comes on a great big spool. And what I'm going to do is we're going to start on the top. And I'm going to pull it through to the next one. Okay. Then I'm going to come down to the bottom. And this is if you want four total elastics, is how I came up with this little, by accident. <laughs> you know, and what I would suggest the first time, just don't cut your elastic until you know you've got it right. Um, practice on a, a piece of chipboard or cardboard or something to test um, how many holes you can put and how you can feed it back and forth. I mean, it's it's just all about playing around with it a lot of times. Okay, now what I'm doing is taking my Tim Holtz all, and I'm going to help use that to push through. Okay? Use your tools. <clears throat> all righty. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this long enough that it goes through here. So I'm going to go a little bit, and then it's going to come back up and tie off. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut this right here. We're going to go through here. And when you do it the way that I'm doing it, it looks like you've kind of stitched the cover together. I don't know. I, it, I like the way it looks on the cover, and I'll show you that here in just a second. As soon as I can poke that through. Sometimes I can do it. Sometimes I can't. If I can't see. Sucks getting old, y'all. <laughs> You're very welcome, Carol. I don't have a whole lot, but I'll try to share what I can. Um, and then, now that I've got those three here, I'm going to go ahead and just take these two last ends about in the center and I'll make what we call a square knot or a surgeon's knot. You just tie it a few times and I'm not going to cut it really short in case somebody ever needs to tighten it up. They could just pick this out. But here's what the spine now looks like. You have two little stitches at the top and two little stitches at the bottom and you have enough elastic to put a minimum of three, but you could put four journals inside here, okay? All right, you need H2O, Robin. I think I need some H2O as well. All right, so that's the cover. I'm gonna move some stuff out of the way. And what we're gonna do now is I've got pages that I made, um, been working on them all weekend so that it was done before y'all come on. Um, so I could spend more time doing other things <clears throat> during the stream. So I've got some pieces of uh, the kit that I cut up. And then these are pages that I kind of made before I started. So thank you, Barbara. Okay, so here is 
one page that has been sprayed with Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist um, through the Feeding Frenzy stencil. And it's hard to see in this, but it's a real pale mint green color. Now you gotta remember how I did that. We can always watch the video again. And then on the inside, I took one of the tickets this time and I just matted it and rounded the corner of that mat and put a little journal journal card there. This was the strip that was left over from another page and I ended up putting it on top of some of the craft. I know Julie, I think you were asking me about craft, how to use your craft. Well, that's craft cardstock right there. <clears throat> We need 1602 for the journal raffle. Any dollar amount that you donate gets you a chance to win the journal that I'm making here today. Okay? And you also, for giving, you will get a digital download for free and you'll become a member of my website and get a 5% discount on all orders except for subscription items. Hey, Julie, I'm glad you're back. Julie, didn't you want to know about using craft papers? So here's another idea. What I did was, this was a gel print. So how to use those gel prints, especially, you know, some of maybe wild colors, but you just want to pop a color. Well, I just cut a little strip. I think it was a piece that was left over from when I cut something else out and I cut it in half so I could have two pieces. <laughs> So it's not a, an exact science. You can do it this way or this way. You could also do it across the top as well. But I thought that would look cute on that page, okay? So that's a page idea. And I think these, I did a little something different on each corner here. This is the same, but this is different. This was a little envelope that I made and I stamped the Beeline Design rubber stamp and I used the Royal Peacock Tattered Angels um, to paint it with a paintbrush. And then I made a little journal card to go inside. Love those digitals. Aren't they gorgeous? <clears throat> Love unicorns too. I couldn't find my unicorn rubber stamps. I was going to stamp a few little journal cards and I couldn't find them. And these are going to be pieces I'm going to glue on. I haven't finished decorating these pages yet. We'll do that as part of building the journal. Thank you, Christy. Um, so this is just um, some mop-up pages. That's what I call these, mop-up pages. Whenever I'm spraying something, for whatever reason, I put another sheet of paper underneath it. And then that way I can soak up what's ever left on the bottom. Or I can take a, another sheet of paper and lay it on top and get color. So thank you so much, Kathy, for your donation. Thank you so much. Oh, and thank you, Ada. I don't think I said thank you earlier. And Sherry, thank you so much for your donations. Um, I had a piece of paper here that I wanted sprayed. And that leaves these little voids. So it looks like natural um, writing space. I also made a couple of little inserts. I think that would be kind of pretty to have them as a smaller page. You could also put them in a pocket. I was just kind of playing around with my gel prints. So that's a gel print. And then I just added the little sheets of paper that I sprayed with the Tattered Angels. Same here. Okay. So... <clears throat> we've got three covers, so we're going to get this all laid out here. So there we got three covers. This is one that I chose to be the cover of one of the journals. I love this pink. It's beautiful. Again, I'm using the Exquisite Dreamer journal kit from Calico Collage. Who got it on sale? Who, who used their coupon code from the last stream? And was able to get it on sale. Here's another page that I turned into a journal. I also used, and I forgot to put the link, but I'm also using the planner kit as well. I just love the pieces in here. This is another one of the pages that I turned into cover. Okay, so we got those three covers. And then these are the pages that I want to be at the front of my journal. So when you open the cover, that's the first thing you see. And then this is the next one. 
and this is the next one okay so and I think that's how it will go so what I'm going to start doing is kind of placing these where I want to put them together kind of making me some space here I got those and then I've got let's do these I'm trying to decide which ones I want to go for the dead center. So I'll show you this one. <clears throat> so what I did here is I took one of the planner pages that has all of this. Well, in fact, that is the page. <laughs> this, is a, this is a planner page, okay? Now, look at the page underneath, and do you see elements from it? This is this part this is this part so I cut apart one piece of paper and then I was able to embellish a piece of sheet music so again this piece here was there this piece here is there this piece here is here and then this piece is from here so I took one printing and I was able to do both sides and get it to work okay oh thank you Regina I do not make these pages these are Norella's artwork I just do my own thing now if you're talking about this I make the stencil that's my stencil design I make those and if you're talking about the gel prints again I make those and I scan them in to my computer and I'm starting to offer them as digital downloads. <clears throat> so, was that your answer to your questions? Yeah, this kit's from Calico Collage. So, that's a page that I made and I think I want this in my dead center. So, it's going to be my last page. So, I'm going to move that over here. And then here is a page I made with some of all the uh, fussy cut items. So this was a fussy cut item. This was a book page that I made into a pocket and a belly band. So it has this area as well as this area. And then here's a journal card. Here's a journal card. And here's a pocket. Okay. Up here at the top. And actually there's another pocket here as well I just didn't put anything in it but there's a pocket there here's a pocket and here's a pocket I understand Christy I understand sometimes I look at the orders to make sure some people don't double order <laughs> thank you so much Mary okay so there's a page and I think I want to put it here and then oh yeah did I show you okay that's a cover that's a cover that's a cover okay and then I want to put these here okay I think I'm getting it all squared away so then here is another page that I made so this time this is scrapbook paper and all I did was I came down and I scored it at eight and a half and I trimmed off a one inch strip on the side I fold up this edge and glue it here and here. Then I took the fussy cut items from the Exquisite Dreamer and put them on some craft paper that I stamped with the postcard collage. This is one of my gel prints that I just cut into a one and a half by two inch piece, folded in half and rounded the corners, zigzag stitched. One of the tags that comes in the kit. And I took a bit of lace and some of this eyelash looking trim stuff and put that on there okay <clears throat> you like this one and then on this side I took a square that I backed with cardstock of a gel print and I cut it in half and then I used the shabby stitches rubber stamp to stamp on there and then I glued it down <laughs> And this is just some paper that I had in my stash. And this is going to go right here. Okay. On the back side, this is the Beeline Design Stamp. 
and I put it on top of the craft after I painted it and then here's one of the journal cards from the kit yeah it's kind of country isn't it <clears throat> and this this same kit you know you could really uh, do the shabby chic and add a bunch of lace and whatnot to it Oh, thank you, Ada. Thank you so much. Don't burn dinner. You love that page, Regina? So, I mean, that's, you know, a way to make your own pages using the kit, um, cutting it up and using elements off of it, okay? This is my journal, Tina says. Are we there? Did we make it to the mark? Thank you so much. Um, this is another one of the pages from the kit that I printed out, and we saw that earlier already where I've used it. And then here's another page. So we're at $65.99. We're almost to $75, and then we can start the, uh, we'll have it, we'll have the raffle for the journal later. And then here's another. So I went ahead and I, I mixed the planner pages with the journal kit. I just thought they went well together. All right, I think what I want to do is this one's going to go here. So what I'm doing now is I've got them all laid out. I know you can't see all of it, um, but I've gone ahead and, and put them all laid out there. <clears throat> yeah, lace stamps and dies would also cut down on the bulk, Julie. That's right. You don't have to put physical lace. You could use some die shapes. Um, in fact, I was playing around earlier um, with a punch and I was thinking you know whenever you die cut something if you can position it in such a way that you have frames that you could use in your journals you could put things behind that this could frame out a saying or a photo or something like that or even the pretty gel print that you can write upon so yeah I tr I'm trying to you know, really think about all these other things that I have and how can I use them. All right, so we're going to start putting this together. I've got um, some clips. I think we're going to go ahead and draw for the winner of the of the um, gel prints here in just a moment. You can't dice onions like Chef Dude. <laughs> Which you get one of those choppers, and then you don't have to worry about cutting your fingers. <laughs> Oh dear. Okay. If there's any questions, get in the raffle if you haven't already. Hi, Rita. Yeah, you missed out on the journal part, the cover. You can watch the replay though. Make sure you hit the two times speed. We are about ten dollars shy of being able to give away the journal that I'm making today. Any dollar amount donation is greatly appreciated. If you do donate, make sure that you go to the um, Facebook event. I'm go event. Um, and follow the instructions on how to get your digital download. I was trying to figure out where I could put this so you could see it. I also have it on the product that you get for free. It tells you how to do it. So if you've donated today, make sure that this is last week's but I'll go ahead and post it that you um, go ahead and follow the instructions <clears throat> if you land on that product and it doesn't say zero then you need to log in and then you need to um, let me know that you, what your user YouTube user name is and your email address and I can get you added so that you can get it for free okay you love embossing paper? Yeah, it's a lot of fun, you know, and it kind of depends on my mood, what I do, you know. Right now, I'm really into the gel printing at the moment. In the past, you know, I would do tons of die cutting. I would die cut and die cut and die cut. I would do the embossing folders. So I think we kind of go um, back and forth in what we like to do. All right, so raffle. Is everybody in the raffle? Thank you, Mary. I think it's a beautiful kit, too. I think uh, Norella did a fabulous job. And this is just how I like to add my junk. You know, you could print the kit just the way it is. Ooh, yes, embossing powders glitter in it. I do, too. They're a lot of fun to use. Maybe we'll do some of that 
on Thursday. We'll do some stamped and embossing stuff. Remind me. <laughs> All right, well, let's do the giveaway. So we're going to pick a winner. Where's my notepad? <clears throat> Regina, Regina, you won the gel prints. Regina, gel prints. All right, just for time, I'm going to do, um, and I already have your address, Regina, so congratulations. We're going to do, uh, let's do 200 junk bucks. And we're going to open the giveaway. All right. <clears throat> So we're going to do 200 junk bucks again. So y'all can buy things from the shop that you see that you have to have. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up a cover. And I think I want the bird and the bird. So I'm going to grab that and put it in. Then I'm going to grab the next one. Ah. And put it in. And I want to try to see if I can keep it in the center. Okay. All right, and then I'm going to do this page. Yeah, this is the one I want. I was trying to debate which one to put in the center. and uh, Sometimes I make some really spectacular ones that I like to see, and then it's like, well, is that the one? See, what I like about this is this page is next to that, and we mimic the color, so we kind of drag it to the next page, if you will. You're very welcome, Regina. Let's put that right here. I'm going to put this right here. Thank you, Connie, for your donation. Thank you so much. I'm going to put this right here. So remember, you're getting three journals. You're getting three journals with the Midori cover. Okay? I love the way that looks. Oh, <laughs> Connie's little sheep's dancing in our way, but I really love how this one turned out. So I'm just going to make all three of these covers really fast. Y'all have questions? Go ahead and put them in all caps, and I'll try to answer them as I'm putting these together. <clears throat> we'll do some embossing Thursday. I'll have to get my stamps out that I think will be fun. <clears throat> all right. My allergies have been a disaster for a couple of weeks now. <laughs> I'm still fighting it. I'm trying to take my allergy medication so I don't get sick. And I'm still blowing my nose and all that pretty nasty stuff. <laughs> Ada, okay. For my printer, I have an HP Photo quality printer. That's what was used to print this kit. The cardstock pieces, I purchased some um, quality linen cardstock. I love the texture it gives. That's what my covers are made out of. And the HP Color Photo Printer is just absolutely gorgeous. It has um, the instant ink program. Then the pages, I did purchase the color. Um, color I think it's just color printer paper um premium color printer paper not just the regular copy paper and it prints so pretty I, I really like and this is printed on that paper I'm telling you about um I really like how they come out they're gorgeous they do um bleed so you don't want to get them wet because they will bleed um if you can afford a laser printer, you can print them on a laser. You can also have them printed at a copy shop, you know, a um, wherever you might go to get photocopies. You can do that. <clears throat> yeah, allergies are no fun. Oh, thank you so much, Christy, for your donation. Thank you. Yeah, they're nasty. Yeah, it's not the shiny paper that I have for the Norella's kits. This is just what I print at home. Um, when I do the kits, like the Daydreaming Coming Up, the Royal Peacock, those are printed on a, a commercial laser printer. So that's why they're a different kind of paper. 
Um, they're going to be shiny. They're going to be heavier paper. So this is just my cheaper version because I'm doing it at home. The two cents was bugging you. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Christy. <sighs> There is a Mariana Hobbs here, though, that comes, Mariana. Yeah. You're going to watch this later, Julie? I hope you like it. I hope it helps you. Okay, so I'm just putting this over here. And then the next one. You take yours to Staples and print. Yep, it's, it's cheaper than using her printer. Yeah, some printers are expensive. I think we're really close, Barbara. Let me check here in just a moment. Again and again and again, Julie. You know, and I hope that these are, they may not get straight to the point, but they'll give you time to think about what you're doing. Okay. All right, let me check the uh, junk books. Uh, in the junk jar, I mean. I get a drink. We are at $68. We need $75 for the drawing of the journal. All right. So now I've got all three of these are paper clipped together. So we're going to bind them. So I'm just going to get my tools out. So I have a little bag that Henry embroidered for me. And I sell these in my shop. Um, and if you want your name or something on one, just message me and we can discuss and I can do that because I've done that for a couple people as well. And I like it because all my tools fit in here. So I've got my needle. I have my uh, piece of fun foam or craft foam so I don't puncture my desk. I've got my pick. I've got some thread. I've got a template. So we're ready to rock and roll here. So what I do is I've got a template that's the same height as my journal. And it has a center hole and it has two holes about a half, an inch and a quarter inch from the top. Now, I know that I've got some shorter pages in here, but I'm pretty confident they won't twist too much. So I'm going to go ahead and just bind it the way that I have it marked. But if you're, you're really concerned about your page twisting, um, not staying in place, that's in the center you might want to move it up or down so that it would be caught up in the binding you're very welcome julie well i, I try to share knowledge and help y'all oh thank you robin i'm glad you like yours she got um the little bag and she got the large zipper bag and i know that i haven't seen loretta in a while um Loretta got the whole set. She got the canvas tote, the zipper pouch that has the junk journal tools. And oh, I'm putting this away, but I don't need to put it away yet because I've got to do the other journals. You want a small one and the medium? Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, my, my printer's pretty nice. It was like $168 um, for this HP printer. And I went ahead and did the instant ink program. And the reason why is the cartridges themselves are somewhere around like $40 a package. Well, for $9.99 a month, and I can do 300 prints. I get all the cartridges I need and when you do full color like these journal covers it takes a lot of ink the first night I had the printer that came with the sample ink cartridges I printed eight two-sided pages and it ran out of ink and I was mad <laughs> I thought, oh am I gonna hate this and then my uh, shipment came and I was able to um, start printing, and I have yet to run out of ink 
they send it to me before I run out. So I'm not ever sitting here going, man, I want to print that, but I can't. <laughs> I think Staples does a pretty good job when they print. Um, I've had a lot of stuff printed there. I would order it online um, through the online uh, manager or whatever it is. It's through HP, Marianne. And I have a referral link. So if y'all want... You, you get a free month if you use a referral link of a friend. And that friend also gets a free month. So if you want to sign up for it, let me know when you're ready. And I'll give you my referral link, okay? But I've, I've been happy with the printer. I got it um, the last week of December because we were trying to get it in on last year's um, business taxes as equipment. Um, and I've been happy with it. It's, it doesn't like super thick cardstock, but I have yet to find a home printer that likes the super thick cardstock. A lot of them jam. They did that on purpose because they don't want us using it. They want us using the thinner stuff so they don't have to pay as much to um, keep these printers up and running. They're cheap, but it's printed on... Uh, vellum and I've printed on photo paper and I print on the cardstock. This worked really well. Oh, I got you. Once you figure out the paper size, then you can go that. You love the instant program too, Karen? I love it. It's called Instant Ink, Kathy. Instant Ink by HP. Now, if you have an HP ready printer that will use the inks with the instant ink program you can just sign up for it but it's mostly for oh thank you so much Janice for your donation it's mostly for newer printers that have the ability to connect to the internet so you have to have the internet because the printer sends a message back to HP as the uh, information about its uh, status if you will and if you don't have internet, then you won't be able to tell HP that you need ink. So, got it. Hey, Pam, so glad you're here. Uh, I hope this makes it better. Yeah, Instant Ink by HP. You got it. You got it. Well, glad to have you here, Pam. You're doing good. Mine is, uh, I don't know the number right off the top of my head. But it's an HP Envy photo. And I can share a link when I get off here. Because it's in the other room. And <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I can print something. I wonder what happens if I try to print something. Let's go print. Let me see what happens from this computer. Control P. It may not give me a print a printer name. If it gives me a printer name, then I can tell y'all what it was. It's thinking. Oh, I almost got a knot in here. Um, I'm doing the pamphlet stitch. I made three holes. I cut wax linen thread. That is three times the height of the journal. I start on the inside. I work to the outside. Okay, it's not going to tell me what my printer is. Um, and then I go back through this center hole. So what I do is I hold up the tail out of the way and then pull this one tighter. And what that does is it makes that thread at the top here. Thank you so much, Pam, for your donation. And then when you push the needle through, you want to make sure that you're not splitting the fiber because it's harder to tighten up the journal. Thank you, Pam. Thank you so much. It's hardened to tighten up that thread if it's caught on it. It'll bind up, and then you'll have a loose fiber back here. Thank you, Pink Robin. Hey! Hey, Pink Robin. I, I think I'm still missing an email from you. Because I think I owe you a coupon for my store. And I need a secretary. Have I said that before? <laughs> Your 
versus the Epson workforce. I had an Epson before and I was going to look at their echo tanks or something like that that you can refill yourself and I kept reading the reviews of the current models that people weren't that happy with it. It was messy. It wasn't as easy as they thought it was going to be. Um, that kind of stuff. So I was kind of like, well, all right, I, I don't think I want to do that, even though I like Epson products. And then I started reading the reviews about the HP printer that I got. And the more I read about it, the more I liked it. Um, I liked the, the speed of it, the vibrancy of the prints. I like the instant ink program, so I just went with that. Oh, Christy. Junkie Joe is just um, fickle. <laughs> Much better here with your journal frames, Pam. I'm glad. Glad to have you here. All right, so I punched the holes in the last one. Kind of cleaning up as I go. Who, uh, when you cook, do you cook the whole meal, eat it, and then go clean the kitchen? Or, as you cook, when you're done with something, you wash it. Or you put it in, at least in a sink full of water. Um, what, what do you do? Tell me what you do. I'd love to know. Because I think we all have different ways of doing things and... It's kind of funny when I watch Henry cook and then versus when I cook and we have different styles, but at the same time, there's a lot of things we do similar, but it's kind of different. <clears throat> you don't, you don't Epson at all. You'd rather have Canon or HP. I've not owned, but maybe one Canon printer. Um, I've worked for people that their bosses or my um, co-workers had the cannon. You, add, you do as you go, cook the whole meal, eat it, and then throw everything in the dishwasher. Gotcha. What is this cooking thing you speak of? <laughs> uh, clean as I cook, I wash as I go. <laughs> Means less washing later. I agree, you know, if you, if you can rinse off those plates and utensils and stick them in the dishwasher so you know they're not going to have something crusty on them. <laughs> Henry's a control freak. He likes to cook. So I let him. He's too picky. I'm not going to argue with him. I'm like, fine, cook. <laughs> now if he'll you know, say, this is what I want and I say, okay, and I make it, then he's going to eat it. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, so when it's a uh, five thirteen, and we're doing a uh, raffle for a junk box. You don't have a dishwasher, Julie. Clean as you go. Yeah, the Kodak Echo. Ah, yeah. If, if you yeah, you've been handy to have one, Robin. That's for sure. The Canon was awful. <laughs> All right, so let's look at where we are on the junk bucks. All right, let's cancel that. Let's refresh. We're at $74.60 on the junk buck, or the uh, junk jar. Golly, I couldn't get it. He does a good job. Dishwasher does a good job. That's awesome. Henry's at work. We got a new piece of equipment. That's our direct decarment t-shirt printer. And he is learning how to use it. They got it installed Friday. And so today they're showing him how to use everything. Get their own food. Enter the raffle. All right. So I've got three journals. You see where the tags and all the things sticking out. <clears throat> All right, so let's um, let's decorate the rest of these, and then we will do the raffle uh, once I finish the first one. So I'm just going to look at this. Some of these pages I don't have anything on, some I do. Um, I do have this little tag that says journal. I think I may end up just giving that 
in the journal for whoever gets it to use however they want. Yeah, it will smear, Christy. It, it does not like to get wet. It does not like to get wet. It will smear. So you can um, coat it, you know, put a protectant on it before you do mixed media. So like a clear spray, a fixative spray, and that would keep it from messing up, okay? <coughs> yeah, unless you miss them, that is what you needed. Okay, thank you. I didn't know, Robin. <laughs> oh, thank you, Sherry, for your donation. Mary, Mary says, I'm the dishwasher. <laughs> All right, so I've got a few things here. I made a little journal card. <laughs> thank you, Robin. <laughs> Wouldn't let you donate 40 cents, Sherry says. <laughs> um, so this is one of the fussy cut items that's in the kit. And what I did on this one is I laid down the um, boxed flowers stencil. So let me grab that. So that's this stencil. And I went in here. Let me get it lined up. You can kind of see where the design is. I may have it backwards. <clears throat> it only goes one way. All right, so you kind of see where the design is on here. And I used um, Distress Oxide and just kind of rubbed over it with a sponge. So you can use these stencils, you know, different ways. Yeah, Margie, I don't know that I would eat if my cat's cooked either. <laughs> Unless you like a lot of fish. You're very welcome, Christy. So then I used my stencil on here. Then I stitched that down to a piece of craft. And I added, love this, or love this day. These are black words, or white words on black that I have in my shop. And I thought this could be a pocket that you could put stuff in. And again, that's part of the kit. It's part of the fussy cut items in the kit. <clears throat> you love your boyfriend, Tim Holtz. Yeah, that distress ink and stamps and stuff. All right. Why didn't you think of that, Julie says? <laughs> you, have, you have options, y'all. There's not just one way to do something. All right, so basically, I'm kind of flipping through this. I think this needs a little butterfly on it. <clears throat> All right, so is it time for me to do the raffle? And I think we've got enough for... Um, did we finally get it? Let me see. I think with the conversion, it may be less. I've got 7560 in my software, so... Any time after this now, <clears throat> he does have awesome stuff. I'm glad he's doing better since he had his heart episode. He did live the other day, and it was good to see him. All right, so I've got the beeline design. This is the little butterfly, and I thought it would be kind of cute to just stamp it cockeyed right there, okay? Yeah, get those little letter stamps out. I forget about my um, alphabet stamps. I have a few of them. I just don't get them out as much. <clears throat> I think that looks cute. I love this. You know, I put the uh, I put a little piece of lace here because in the design, the printed design was a button, and I ended up cutting it off. So to kind of cover that up, I just add a little piece of lace. And then to echo it, I took a 5x7 greeting card. This was um, from Canvas Court Brands. They had a bunch of what we call factory seconds. And so they let me have those. And I thought, well, I can use those as a journal card. It doesn't have to have an envelope. Oh, thank you, Lynn, for your donation. It doesn't have to have an envelope to be writing space in a journal. So you just go ahead and put it in there. <clears throat> All right, Robin. 
All right, so that that's what I did there. And I just love the layering on this page, how it turned out. This I stamped. Um, that's with the Beeline Design postcard, postscript, postcard collage. The frugal crafter joins hers up with a rubber band into words. Oh, that's kind of cool. <clears throat> All right, so then... I made this little journal tag, or you could make it a bookmark. I just put a little piece of lace up here, and then just did a quick little stitch over the top of it. So you get a little bit of it, but you don't have to spend the time to go all the way around. Or if you went all the way around, maybe the image would be obscured a little bit. And sometimes I'll do it anyway. <laughs> so we got this one. Let's go ahead and stamp it. And we'll stamp over here. <clears throat> and then here I just did some more of that trim. This is one of the journal cards. But do you see how the colors all come together now? <clears throat> we saw this one. I think it's good. I think that's good. All right, this page needs something on it. So let's see what we have left here. <clears throat> All right, so I need one, two, one, two. Okay, so I have enough pockets. This is a journal card. I have an extra journal card. So I have some journal cards left over. But I don't have very many tuck spot thingies left over. So let's see what we've got here. How about if we put that on this side over here? <clears throat> Alrighty. Alright, so we've we've met the $75 requirement for the um, journal today. So that means anybody that donates after this point, you're, you could be in it to win it. Any dollar amount, <clears throat> we have enough. And pardon me, I have to clear my throat. I need to go get something, I think. So we're going to put that journal card there. And I guess I'll draw now for the... Um, I think I want to do something on this page too. So let me mark my spot. All right, has everybody entered the raffle? And I'm going to be right back. I'm going to get some more water, and I've got to take an allergy pill, okay? So join the raffle. I'm going to put you on the be right back so you know I walked away. <laughs> I'll be right back.
<laughs> la la la. Sorry. I'm back. <clears throat> uh, got any jokes? <laughs> uh, Oh, thank you, Christy, for your donation. Thank you, thank you. <clears throat> <coughs> Pardon me. <clears throat> I thought I wasn't going to start choking. All right, we're going to pick the winner of the raffle. <coughs> and uh, then we're going to start the uh, raffle for the journal. So I'm going to pick the winner, and then I'm going to talk about who can win the journal those that have donated during this live stream today for giving a donation you earn an entry into the raffle you also earn a digital download for free from my website you also become a member on my website that gives you five percent off your purchases so you're getting some benefits for making any donation the file that I have for today normally sells for $1.25 for one image. <clears throat> Actually, two images. I take that back. It's the same images in different sizes. And because you donated, you get that for free. So definitely make sure you head over to my website or to the Facebook event to see how to get that. And I'll go... Alright, so the following people donated today... <clears throat> All right. Yay, you won again, Regina. Oh, I didn't even look at it. Regina won again. That's hilarious. So she won 200 junk bucks. Yay. This is your lucky day, Regina. <laughs> it sounded like. <laughs> Aren't allergies wonderful? Yes, Leslie. They're just so wonderful. <laughs> All right. So the following people have donated today, and they're eligible to join the raffle for the journal if you join the raffle and you didn't donate if your name is drawn you are not going to win the journal but you can donate at any time before i start saying we're getting ready to close off the uh, raffle and we're going to draw so just listen for that i will remind you so christy clover sandra l lynn wheeler sherry deskins pink robin pam emmons janice brammer Christy Johnson, Connie Barch, Christy Clover, Kathy Lake, Ada Belfors, Sherry Deskins, DDB, Barbara Oliver, Calico Collage, Christy Johnson again, Tina A, Paula A, Carrie Ann Thomas, Janice Brammer, Mary Osninski, I don't think I'm doing that right, sorry, uh, Karen Owens, Christy Johnson again, thank you so much, Christy, Donna Poirier, uh, Christy Clover, Felique Feline Family, or Margie, and then Christy Johnson again, and Deborah Vick. So I'm going to start the giveaway. <clears throat> You're very welcome, Regina! Yay! Um, so we're going to start the, let's see, what is this? Um, E-X-Q-U-I-S-I-T-E-D-R-E-A-M-E-R -E -E journal. So we're going to do the Extreme Exquisite Dreamer Journal Open Giveaway. So those that have donated, you can now enter the raffle. And I'll try to keep reminding you um, so that you uh, get entered, okay? So if you're chatting or whatnot, so let's get entered, okay? I didn't do it right. I'm sorry, Mariana. <laughs> Maybe someday I'll learn it. I, I am terrible with some words and uh, pronunciations. I've always had that problem, even when I was little. <clears throat> I finally finished my coffee from this morning. <laughs> All right, so let's add a little something on this page. I've got, I'll be using two more of those. <clears throat> I have some tags. I'm trying to see, oh, I've got some of these. I got three of those. And then these are oddball things. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> I guess I'm going to stamp this over here again because we're kind of being consistent now. Did I do that up here? 
I don't remember. I did not, so I'm glad I had it bookmarked. So let's go ahead and stamp that side. Okay. And I think, so I have these two pages that I don't have anything on yet. <clears throat> so let's do this. I think I want that Bella Rose stamp. Yeah, I think that'll work. Oh, Sinsky. Oh, Sinsky. Is that better? There is not a code for my shop right now for the live show. Um, if you are a VIP member, meaning you have a subscription with me, you now get 5% off in my shop. <clears throat> If you are a Stencil Club member, you get 20% off all stencils in my shop. And what was the other? If you are a YouTube donator, you now get 5% off. So if you're not a subscriber, you at least get a discount for your donations. <clears throat> there are worse things, yay. Thank you! <laughs> <coughs> oh, Sinsky. Okay, oh, Sinsky. I probably won't remember next week because I'll sleep, I hope. <laughs> All right, so that's, we decorated that one. We added a few things, so we've got two more to do. All right, get entered in the raffle if you donated. Enter in the raffle if you donated. <laughs> Call the cops. <laughs> I was making it too hard. That was the problem. Okay, well, we're gonna do that rose again and the butterfly. And I, I hope, what do you like? Do you like the journal so far? How I've, I chose the bird with the bird. And I guess I put the bird on, I put some birds on all, both the pages there. <laughs> That's funny. Sometimes I pay attention to what page is on the back when I print them at home, and sometimes I don't. <clears throat> Eye rolls. <laughs> oh, we're doing a boss fight. I wonder if I'm too late. I'm probably too late. <laughs> Get in on the boss fight. All right, so what did we do on that page? That was up here. Okay, so we just found an, a random thing. So I have this little card. It's not very big. Let's see. But if I put that as a tuck spot, it would hold that card okay. Or I could make it just a little bit bigger. I've got a piece of uh, craft cardstock here. So I'm just going to cut a piece. <clears throat> It's just a little bit bigger. I'm not really measuring. I'm just kind of looking at it and seeing how big of a piece I need. If it was a little bit bigger, I had die cut some stuff, but I don't think... Oh, gum! wow. I didn't even pay attention to that. That's even better. I used that die cut shape earlier, and that's the perfect size I need. And I've got another one, so good. Sometimes I do think ahead. <laughs> so let me use some distress ink. Uh, I've got that walnut stain. I'm just going to go over the edges. <clears throat> You're very welcome, Mary. <laughs> you still have a chance to donate if you want to win this journal and get the free digital download and a 5% discount in my shop. I want some more distress ink on that too. I'm going to do this one while we're at it. Must resist the urge to enter, Leslie. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> you too, Robin. <laughs> Don't forget.
I want to win. It's mine, <laughs> Tina says. <laughs> Thank you, Mary. Thank you so much. All right. So I think what we'll do, I like that. <clears throat> And it's, it's, it's subtle, isn't it? You like that? Everybody wants to win. Okay, so here is, I have a, a question for y'all. <laughs> I am, I am being overrun with stuff around me. <clears throat> and I need to get rid of some stuff so what i'm thinking about doing is every i don't know maybe once a week i'll grab a bin a drawer a thingy and i will get a um, priority mailbox and i will just fill it full and <clears throat> i want to know do y'all want to have it as an auction where you bid on what's in the box plus shipping or do you want me to set a price um, or do you want me to just do like we're doing here and raffle it off this way? Let me know what your thoughts are on that. Just junk from Linda. <laughs> All right. Julie asked about the punch. I think it was, or the shape. And <clears throat> this is a, a, uh, or Sandra asked, sorry, Sandra asked. Um, this is a paper studio, um, punch and Sandra and I got it when they had them 50% off at Hobby Lobby. And the size of it is, where's my other ruler? I don't like using this clear ruler. It doesn't, you can't see it very well. <clears throat> All right. And it is from the point to point, almost three and a quarter inches for the size I got. I think it was normally, um, $19, I think, and I got it for half price. <clears throat> All right. You, you, I love unicorns. I have unicorns in my house. I do too, Barbara. Do a D stash, Donna says. <laughs> what else? Your stress doesn't work very good. Um, you may, you, I put the spray on it and it doesn't go to the dark like yours does. Then I would suggest you buy the re-inker. Okay. Buy the re-inker. I'm okay. <laughs> it is a ginormous punch. It's huge. I mean, look, look how big it is, but I like it. <laughs> you need that punch. It's awesome. I hate the fussy cutting too, but it's, a, it's such a great, you know, pattern. Isn't that cool? <clears throat> You're welcome. Not yet, Henry. <laughs> oh, pardon me. <clears throat> my allergies are kicking up. I went and took some Benadryl. My time about wore out. Okay, so we're going to put this over here. I'm going to go up the side. So I'm just making like an L. And we're going to put that right here. Okay. Okay, set prices plus shipping and get rid of the stash that way. Okay. <clears throat> Hobby Lobby. Yes, Christy. Hobby Lobby. You can order it on their website too. All right. <clears throat> I like you now. This come don't y'all like the colors? I know you you probably get tired of me and my color, but I love color, y'all. <laughs> okay, well I can I can do that. There is a spray reinker one, and I have that, but I prefer buying the actual um, bottles, Mariana. So, for example, mine kind of leaks, but I have the Distress Walnut Stain re-inker and you can get them on Amazon you just put in the color that you need and then what you do is where's my ink pad so what you do is you have your ink pad and this got an eyedropper in it so you're going to get a little eyedropper full and then just use your wand to kind of spread that ink out and then your ink pad will rejuvenate okay <clears throat> 
and you don't need to store them upside down. Uh, Robin, uh, everyone, actually, uh, Tim Holt says you do not need to store these upside down. That is a misnomer. You can keep them right side up because of the nature of the pad, the way that it's made. I know you can't see it because it's a dark color. Um, they don't dry out like you think they do. So you can keep them right side up. <clears throat> By the way, I just thought I'd share that because Tim was saying that at Creativation. People were still thinking they had to store them upside down. Okay. Let's stamp over here. What is the refresher? So the refresher, you don't have to buy all the colors of your inks that you own. You just buy the refresher and it's supposed to refresh that ink that's already there that's probably dry and you're getting it wet again making it juicy again and it'll start working okay <clears throat> yeah it's got a lot of things in there. i mean it's not just unicorns that's what i like about this kit pam you know, you, you don't have to focus on the unicorns. We've got the butterflies. We just have some magical, pretty colors in there. <clears throat> yeah, there are some brands you have to store upside down. You have the refresher. Yeah, just if it's not working, you may need more or you may need the actual re-inker. Okay. What did we put on that one? Okay, so we're putting one of these. So I'm just going through here now and filling this in. If you've donated today, make sure that you type in raffle. If you want to have a chance to win this journal, make a donation, <clears throat> pardon me, of any dollar amount and enter the raffle. And you're going to also get a free digital download. And you're going to get 5% off uh, your purchases in my shop. From now on. Yeah. You didn't know that info? You're welcome, Ada. I'm glad to share it. <coughs> <coughs> Pardon me. <clears throat> okay, we're going to put that there. We're going to flip over here. Okay, what did I do to this one? Oh, yeah, we did the rose. Okay. Are we getting the combatants? Who's going to emerge victorious? The combatants are going head to head in the arena. You can hear the art mess and paper flaps fly in all directions. Suddenly, a paper quake erupts. The glitter dust finally settled and only the following people emerged. Barbara Oliver! That's one of our silly games. <laughs> <clears throat> Well, and that may be true as well, Julie. I don't know that official information. I know that Tim encouraged to buy it um, so that you could have it, which would be good. Say you, say you take all of your, your little ink pads, you've got your little tin, and you go to a retreat. Well, you don't realize until you get there that they're dried out. Well, then you would have to only take the refresher as opposed to, I'll show you. <laughs> all of the re-inkers <laughs> okay <laughs> what what do you want to carry around with you i mean that's a great way to have it but i feel that the actual re-inker is best to do over and over and over okay we got that one done all right well we're getting close to the end <clears throat> oh and i didn't do some pockets yet I may have to go back and add some more pockets because I'm seeing them on my table and I forgot about them earlier. Um, there's no code needed, Kathy. It's automatic. In fact, when you um, when you go to my website and the page pulls up on a product, it will tell you right there that you get a member discount. This is new. I just I just installed all of that this weekend. That's what I've been doing. You don't need a code, Marianne. You would just need to um, 
sign up on my website. You don't have to purchase anything. You just need to sign up, make a user account, and then message me through my webpage what your YouTube user ID is and what your um, email address is. If you have donated to me, then you will be added into the membership for the YouTube donators and you get 5% off. And if you are already a VIP member, you purchase a subscription box, you're in a different group as well. <clears throat> now, if you haven't got your coupon for the $10 uh, coupon code, that is a code, okay? All right, so let's go here. And I did, I'm trying to keep up with what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, so we're going to put the rows over here. You know, and I'm repeating myself in this journal partly because I like the way it turned out. I'm trying to repetitively do something so that you see how it looks together. Um, it's easier this way because I don't have to spend all my time thinking about every single page of <clears throat> how I'm going to incorporate my things um, so that's kind of why I do the same page design if you will three times so it's easier you don't have to maybe you do each one just one time <laughs> oh. yeah there's the extreme uh, digital kit the exquisite dreamer from Calico collage did y'all get it uh, last week when she had her coupon code? She does have coupon codes that if you purchase $20 or more, you get 20% off. If you do 40, you get 25% off. So Norella does have a few. <clears throat> Alrighty. This was a card that I made. I had the stamp and I stamped it on top of a gel print. And then I sprayed with Tattered Angels some um, dictionary page and then stitched it together. Used the Distress Ink around that. That's a Lynn Perella stamp. You know, I was talking about Lynn earlier. I like her stuff. I've always liked her stuff. All right. So we got a butterfly. Butterfly. Okay. Where am I? Here. Okay. <clears throat> More people from the state of confusion. <laughs> it happens. It happens. Okay. I think I'm getting there. Alright, what do we do here again? I always have to flip over to it. Alright, so here... We've been putting that on there, but I don't want to miss out on this, so I gotta do those. I made this pocket, so I think I'm gonna put that pocket there, and then I'm gonna put this on top of it. <clears throat> Thank you so much, Robin. Thank you so much. That is there quite a journal. You like it? I, I'm glad. So when you're planning your journal, do you uh, watch like one of my tutorials or somebody else's tutorial, make a single journal page, set it aside, and then go do something else? Um, then you, uh, <clears throat> you know, I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> I thought got lonely. I was looking at the chat. And I was getting ready to answer the question. Somebody remind me what I was saying. Um, someone asked, when you order as a VIP, do you know that I am a Kit Club member or do you put it in the note when ordering? Christy, when you become a subscription member, it's automatic in my system now that when you pull up my website, other than subscription items, the Stencil Club, the uh, virtual digital downloads and the actual physical subscription boxes are not discounted, but everything else in my shop will be discounted 5% automatically. You'll see it. You'll know before you click buy how much that item is. It already shows you the discount. 
<clears throat> all right, so this one's going to go there. Okay, so I'm using all the pieces. I'm just doing it a little differently. Let's put the butterfly here. And let's put the rose. <clears throat> Well, I'm almost done here. Has everybody entered into the journal raffle today? I'm going to go back through it one more time. You're very welcome. Okay, yes, Tina. Email me your username and that you use here on Facebook or on YouTube. I don't even know where I'm at today. Golly. And I will... Uh, message you that you are now entered okay so i made this little bitty pocket out of a gel print you know how i do my little accordion folding back and forth that's how i made this or did i i don't remember now yeah i did i folded it back and forth i had to look at it <laughs> and i zigzag stitched around and i thought that would look kind of cute on here so i almost forgot about this part because i really wanted to show you and then if you need me to do an actual tutorial, I'll work on that and get one up really soon. All right, so this is my little envelope. And then I made a little journaling card that I thought could go right here behind it, but I'm not going to put it in yet. And then this is an envelope that comes in the kit. <clears throat> this is the envelope that comes in a kit. And this is one of the cards that's in the kit. And I want you, I don't know if y'all can see or hear this, but I put a magnet on there. Can you hear it click? I got I got a magnet in here. <clears throat> I didn't get it perfect. So basically what I did was you can't really see it, but see that little bump that's right on the other side of my finger there? That's a magnet with a piece of paper over it, like a uh, really thin paper. And then this is another tiny, tiny magnet underneath the piece of paper. So it'll keep it closed. And I had a lot of fun playing with these magnets. I found them on Amazon. And there's tons of them. I think I got 200 of these little bitty I don't, I don't, let me see if I zoom, if you can see it. Can you see how tiny these are? They're T, 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 tiny. I mean, here's my ruler and you can kind of see how big they are. They're tiny. And basically I just put a drop of glue. I used the best glue ever, let it dry a little bit so it was tacky. And then I stuck one of the magnets down let it set for a moment and then I put a little scrap of paper on top of it <clears throat> so that it wouldn't stick too hard and it would keep the magnet attached to the paper so it wouldn't come off then what I should have done was I should have put the um, yeah I can show that yeah um, I put I should have put this magnet on first and then tried to match up to the other one because I got it really close to here but I put this magnet down first and then I put a magnet on top of it with a drop of glue and then when I closed the lid on it it stuck to the paper and I was able to pull it apart and then put the piece of paper on top yeah they're so tiny yeah I'll, I'll get a link for y'all for the magnets um, give me a second and I can do that. <clears throat> That's an Amazon. I thought they were really cool. I, and I bought them a while ago. I hadn't uh, used them because I lost them. <laughs> I was like, where did I do with those? I can't find them. <laughs> and finally, I found them. I was like, oh, there they are. Because uh, it's a little bitty box, and so I wasn't really sure 
where it went, what happened to it. And I was really annoyed. Um, but then I found them this week and I was like, oh, our weekend actually. I was like, oh, I found them. Yay. <laughs> I'm going to use them. I hope they like it. Um, they're not super pricey, but they do cost a little bit. So I'm going to share a link. Okay. Shorten link so it's not too long. Okay. <clears throat> Oh, it's doing that again. Dang it. Come on. I don't understand why it's doing that to me. It's not being very friendly. Come on. All right. Well, we're just going to take the giant link. Okay. Hopefully it won't truncate. Let's see if that works. That's for the magnets. <clears throat> see if that works for you. Oh, nope, that isn't the right link. Dang it, it did it again. Copy. All right, here's the correct link. Paste. That should be the right link. I think that other, oh, maybe it was the same. It truncated the, the name. I hate it when it does that. I don't need all that other garbage in there. <laughs> okay, so that's on here. Trying to make sure it's glued down. Let's put that there. <clears throat> and let's get a, let's grab this other one because I have another one of these. And I want to put it in here. Because I made them. I want to use them. I can always put them in the flowish journal that I'm going to have for uh, Thursday. I may do that with this other one I have left here. Do I want to go right here? Yeah, let's do that. Let's just put it here. <clears throat> Not working for you? Okay. When I, I This computer, for some reason, doesn't allow me to copy the URL. So what I'll do is when I get off the stream, I'll go into my other computer and I'll put it as a, a comment below. But these magnets just make it super cute because, I, again, I covered it with a piece of paper and this is the little card that's inside. Ah, get in there and then it snaps shut. I just love that it snaps. <laughs> okay. So let's go here. All right. Well, I think, I believe I've got everything in here that <clears throat> I'm going to put in here. I'm going to save that. And I'll save that. And I'll save these. I'll use them in the, in the flowish journal. On Thursday and then that one's gonna go there okay so let me get this out of the way okay all right is everybody entered the raffle because we're getting ready in just a moment we're gonna draw for the winner so if you haven't donated yet and you want a chance to win the journal make a donation and then type um, exclamation point raffle all right It's like I found this wonderful treasure, a rare find, those teeny tiny magnets. <laughs> I don't know. I've seen them used by other people. I've used magnets and things years ago, but never any that small. I mean, it's just crazy how small they are. And you get 200 of them. All right. I think I'm going to put the title right there that uh, journal said. They were like $9.99 for 200 $9.99 for 200 they weren't that expensive. And if you use um, if you use one of the links <clears throat> in the description box of this video that says like Amazon or it's for the um, things not in my shop. They don't say Linda Israel. They'll take you to my Amazon affiliates link. And when you do that, it helps me if you buy anything when you click on one of my links. And then the magnets... Um, 
I don't know why it's not letting me get the link. It's like it's being a butt. Oh, wait, maybe I got it this time. Because I. <clears throat> Let's see if that works. Hey, hey, hey! I think I just got it. All right, so that's going to be. <laughs> oh, thank you, Sandra, for your donation. Now make sure you get entered. Yeah, I think so because they're they're. I don't know if it will lift off of an existing one, but you can pick them up. Yeah, you can pick them up with the Jelly Belly. <clears throat> All right, so I think I want this one as my first journal. So I'm going to open this up to the center, and we're going to put this in here. And we're getting ready to draw, so make sure you enter. If you've donated, you still have a moment to get entered. But we're going to enter the or draw the winner here in just a moment. Um, I'll be back Thursday. We'll be doing some mixed media. Oh, I forgot to do the tie. I planned on. Um, I don't want these in the way. I was going to do a uh, closure for this. So I'm going to take these out. So you got time, y'all. I'm stalling. I forgot about the closure. All right, so let's get that. <clears throat> we'll get that going. You want to purchase? You can get it through my link. I have a link for it. Um, it's not on my side. It's on somebody else's site. All right, so we're gonna put. We're gonna punch a hole here in the center. And we're going to make a tie. So I like to get a length of ribbon. So it'll be a nice long ribbon. So that's going to be half of it. So we're going to cut about this much. I've already put away my scissors once. <laughs> Margie says, if it glitches when she announces, no, it was for me. <laughs> Okay, sorry it was glitching today. I forgot to reboot my computer before I went live today. I normally do that, and I got caught up in the, my own little world, and I forgot. So please forgive me. All right, so I've got some Royal Peacock colors. <clears throat> so I've got Peahen Pink. That's part of the set of six colors. And this is the Royal Peacock that comes in the kit. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to spritz randomly on here. It's going to make it a real pastel color. It kind of reminds me of cotton candy. Just kind of do a little bit of... They'll bleed together a little bit. So we're going to get some neat color out of this. <clears throat> okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my heat tool and try to dry this pretty quick so that I can tie the journal up and we can draw the winner in a moment. Okay. Let's get my heat tool out. Okay. You're starting the journal wars. <laughs> this show is coming and my, my ironing service is here for a year. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> One millimeter by one millimeter. There's tiny, tiny magnets. <laughs> I love it. Christy says, journal wars have commenced. And the battle continues. Waiting the queen to push our button. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Turtle Wars! <laughs> I 
I will be the referee for this journal battle, Robin says. <laughs> So that was seam binding uh, by Snug Hug. It's like ten or eleven dollars. <laughs> we don't need those silly Junkie Joe games. <laughs> um, but I use the Snug Hug. I've um, got a hundred yards <clears throat> of it. I haven't found, <coughs> pardon me, a uh, better price of the snug hug so that I could offer it in my journal kits yet. I'd love to, but it's expensive. So by the time I cut it up to put in everybody's box, it's a little high. All right, so we're gonna do um, the crocodile. I got the larger punch here. So what I'm gonna do is I know that this journal cover is I think it's nine inches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So if I come in, one, two, three, four, five. Right here is about the center. So I'm just going to kind of hold the cover here. I'm going to take my hole punch and punch through. Make sure I've got them lined up. And that went through all layers at one time. Okay. <clears throat> And that's why I didn't put the signatures in because I didn't want to punch my paper and it's harder to uh, maneuver. <laughs> All right. Snug Hug is a, a seam binding. A seamstress use it like on the bottom hem of a skirt. Seam binding. Does that make sense, Julie? All right, so if you have donated, make sure that you type exclamation point raffle, those that have donated. <clears throat> I'm going to put, wait, I wanna go this way. I'm gonna put the journals in the cover. Answer any questions anybody has. Anybody have any questions? And then we'll draw. Ah, about to have an avalanche. I was about to get smacked by my crocodile. <laughs> All right. I'll sign the cover here. Okay. And then we'll put this journal back in. I'll sign the Okay, now do I have these in the right order? Yes. I want this one on the front. Doo -doo -doo. All right, do y'all have any questions? How long of a piece do you cut for each tie? Um, let me see here. <clears throat> I can kind of measure it out. So what do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Two times seventeen. I don't do math, y'all. <clears throat> so less than forty inches. That it depends on how much of a tail you want, how big of a bow you want. Do you want it to have, you know, all that pretty fluffiness beside it, okay? <clears throat> nope, you don't get kicked off the list. <laughs> oh, dear. What is the meaning of life? That is my question. You know, I think the meaning of life is um, doing something you love and encouraging others to do things that they love and and being um, an open-minded mindset when you're around people. You know, we all have our own things that we're going through. And when we can, let's lift each other up and not tear each other down. I posted this on Facebook. Someone else had shared this uh, post about um, someone got mad at their neighbor because they had not mowed their lawn. So think about that. 
If you have a neighbor that hadn't mowed their lawn and you're their next door neighbor, you know their history. You know that they always mowed their lawn. Instead of calling someone to complain about it, go talk to your neighbor <laughs> and help them mow their lawn because there's probably something going on. So help your fellow neighbor, if you will, friends, and, and be kind. That's what I would say. <clears throat> Meaning of life is 42. <laughs> you love it? You love your journal, Tina? We love Fluffy. Fluffy, we think. Did that, did that match the pinks of the journal? This is probably a little bit brighter pink, but I don't know. I like it. It's kind of different. It was awesome, wasn't it, Margie? I thought it was pretty good. You know, it's like, come on, go help your neighbor. <clears throat> yeah, mother lawn. Exactly, Ada. All right, everybody in on the drawing. Thank you so much, Pam. Yeah, we do, Sandra. Help each other. You know, sure, we may be thousands of miles apart, even on the internet. But, you know, if someone says something on Facebook or whatever social media that I'm having a bad day, say, well, hey, you know, I, I love you. I care about you. Let's have a virtual chat or for a few minutes or something. Or, you know, send you hugs and prayers and... What, how can I help you? Do you know, reach out to people? Your unicare name is Fluffy. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> Margie says, I have a real live unicorn. <laughs> All right, well, let's draw the winner. Thank you so much for being here. Let's see what we've got going on. <clears throat> All right, we're going to draw the winner of this journal. I hope you got entered because you donated. All right, pick a winner. Sandra L., you won the journal. Journal. Congratulations. This is April 22nd. Winners. All right, so what other link was I supposed to share? I shared the one for the magnets. Was I supposed to share another link? Was there anything else? Yay! Cats rule, dogs drool. <laughs> I have had a cat that drooled too. <laughs> she would sit in your lap and she'd start purring and she'd just start drooling. <laughs> So cats drool too. <laughs> Yay, Sandra! Congratulations. Um, I haven't mailed out a few journals in the past week, I guess, week and a half. Um, I was showing them to somebody, and I think the last person I'm going to show is tomorrow, and then they'll go out. So if you're waiting on your journal, <laughs> it's it's getting the circuit. <laughs> I have to show them off, y'all. <clears throat> Magnet link. Okay, I just shared the magnet link. I'll do that again because it should work this time. I hope, I hope. Let me know if that worked. Yep, I should. you should see that. That's the magnet link. They're like $9.99 for 200 of them. Anything else y'all need? They're awesome. Yes, of course, Margie. <laughs> Congratulations, Sandra. I'm so glad you won. I hope you enjoy the journal when I ship it. I got to show it off now. <clears throat> I'll probably do a flip through video so y'all can have that separate so you can kind of get some ideas. Okay. Is there any more questions? Um, did y'all want me to get a tutorial put together? Yep. I'll put it in the description box, Robin. Yep. I will. I will. Um, did you want me to do a tutorial on how to use the magnets? I can do that. This is the downloadable, Ada. Yes, this is a downloadable journal kit from Calico Collage. Yeah, <clears throat> it's in the description box. You're very welcome, Sandra. You're very welcome, Paula. Thanks for being here, everybody. I really appreciate you. Again, if you donated today, make sure that you go over to my website and check out 
the um, item that I gave away, which is, where is that? I'm trying to find it. <clears throat> Oh, I forgot the, I forgot it. I don't see the link. I'll have to get the link. Let me grab it. Um, ba, ba, ba. There it is. So this, you can go through this link. You can get last week's free as well. So if you haven't got them, you can do that. You're very welcome. Thank you so much, Barbara. Thank you, Julie. Julie, you want me to do the envelope? Okay. Hugs and love. Thank you, Margie. Uh, seam binding. Where do you get the seam binding? I got that from Amazon. Okay, I'll get that. Thank you, Christy, for reminding me. I'll get the seam binding. So I'll get that. And seam. Where is it? I send my, I, I'm going by my orders. <clears throat> and then I'm giving you all the links. Okay, here we go chalk white so we're going to copy that i've i've ordered it this one i ordered uh, in 2018 that's how long ago i ordered my chalk white snug hug <laughs> so it lasts a long time if you buy the whole um kitten caboodle all right let's see if i get this link to work yay maybe I don't know if that's the same link that I just shared. Okay. Um, what else? How much are the downloadable journals, Julie? They are uh, $10.99 with Calico Collage, I believe. Bye, everybody. Bye, Marianne. All right, Robin. Enjoy your dinner. <clears throat> Thank you so much, Sandra. You're very welcome, Christy. You're welcome. You're now inspired to start one. Yay! You know, check out my Facebook groups. Um, I have a large group that's called the Friendly Junk Journal People. We have almost 19,000 or over 19,000. And then I have a smaller, more intimate group um, that's called By Linda Israel. There's not a lot of posting going on, but you are welcome to share your projects or ask questions in either of those groups. Okay? You want a magnet link? Okay, I'll put it in there. This, this was printed on my inkjet printer. This was printed on my home inkjet printer. And I'll get the link for the printer. So I got to do the um, magnets, seam binding, and <clears throat> the, uh, what did I just say? The, um, my thought got lonely. <laughs> <laughs> magnets there was another one I was supposed to get you all the link for and I forgot all of a sudden I'll have to rewatch this at the end so I can know what I said <laughs> alrighty y'all thank you so much for being here <laughs> it's been a day I think the sinus medicine is getting to me <laughs> thank y'all for being here I really appreciate you watching for your donations um, patronage in my shop again check out the friendly junk journal facebook group by linda israel as well and you can find me on twitter and instagram and of course my website and facebook okay do check out my facebook event and comment in there if you're working on something what inspired you and share what you made i'd love to see that um oh the jelly belly okay jelly belly and printer thank you printer thank you sandra <laughs> my thought got lonely and it left <laughs> oh dear we used to say that all the time i haven't said it in a while um let's see i'm tired now <laughs> y'all thank you so much much love to you as well i'll see you thursday um you're very oh yeah the ink program the I'll give y'all the link for my instant ink in case you want that um like I said you get a free month if you sign up through that link 
and I'll, you know, do your research. Don't just take my word for it. Do your research. Look at the printer. Look at what other people comment and review it as. Um, look at the HP program, the NC Ink program, and review it as well. Okay? But I, I'm pretty happy with it. Okay. Thank you so much, Pam. You're so sweet. Thank you so very much. I love y'all too. And I... I really appreciate y'all taking the time and watching and hanging out with me while I make a journal and chat and just enjoy life, you know? <laughs> All right, we're going to get off here. So I got I to gotta go click the button <laughs> to end the stream. And I'm going to get a drink one more time in case there's another question. And then I'm going to end it. All righty. Y'all, thank you so much, Mariana. Thank you so much, Marie. Thank you, Pam. Thank you, Sandra. <laughs> thank you Sandra thank you Pam thank you Julie thank you Deborah thanks everybody I really appreciate it all right we're gonna hit the button here looking forward to seeing the flip through okay I'll get it done <laughs> all right y'all have a good one okay lots of love to you Mwah!